finally, the new GT3 RS is out. Check out that fog. Out here at Bonham Auctions, we see the 456 Venice station wagon and the black F50, the roof turbo R. Super cool. Get an up close video of this. Enzo said that they would never make a four-door Ferrari, but they did back back in the day. And over here, there's a black F50. Very, very, very nice. Black inside too, black everything. Cool. Another Chiron showed up. Here at Quail, a lot of nice cars in the parking lot. Including a Koenig Sec and a CGT. Scuderia. 277 miles per hour. The fastest top a speed rider car. Nice. We are in the Quail. That's the electric Baja thing. At the Pagani stand. I think this is the Huayra R. Finish in all carbon blue, sorry, blue carbon, blue wheels, massive brakes. Wow, I can't wait to hear this on the track tomorrow. Look at those pipes. Jeez. We have three Zonda R's here with a very fitting license plate. Three of these. I don't know how many they made. All the carbon. Check out the suspension. Speedster jacket. The ratio over here. Oh, over here. The brand new Huayra R. And here we have another Huayra R. In pearl white. Very, very, very nice. So would you prefer the white one or the blue one down there? Here we have a Zonda Revolution and three Zonda R's. Finally, the new GT3 RS is out. I'm gonna do a little quick run through of the car. This car here at Quail has the green and white livery. Very, very cool air fenders, air curtain thing on the side. The inside, I think this is a European car, so it's got a cage. Green stitching everywhere. I don't think I saw this option online, but roof fins to direct the air. Very cool. Proper door handles, none of that 992 uh, regular door handles. Side air intake, big wheels. What size are these? I think they're 335s. 335 30 21s. And this giant wing. Check out the DRS little little modules over here. I don't I don't know what to say about this. The back, massive. The fuser looks kind of pretty similar to the old one. I hope the exhaust setup is new, is the same. So you know we don't have to buy a new exhaust. Side curtain. There's a little Easter egg over here. If you see down here, it says no vent. They have a red. That's pretty cool. Going back over here, it's interior, and this one is a tribute to the Ferrero RS. And this 992 GT3 RS has strap door handles, like the unlike the uh, regular door handles on the 992 GT3. More vents. Very very nice. Black caliper is the way to go. Very nice. Very, very, very cool. And the father of GT Cars is here. Forgot to mention these buttons. We got a Lucid tent with a really nice Lucid over there. And the Hennessy Venom M5. So, this is the other lawn for post war racing. 
and oh, RS200. And there's a helicopter here with a couple nice cars. I'm not sure what these are. Oh, the McLaren's having a press conference over there for some new car. There are three BMW Z8s here and two E30 M3s. Oh, so this is the M booth with where all the M cars are. The 50th anniversary of the M division. 3.0 CSLs, M3, S85, very nice. It's manual too. BMW M1. Oh, those are sick wheels. M1. Very, very cool. A few Audi console cars. The brand new Singer Turbo Study. Based on a 964 chassis. But um, they, they're using like a 930 turbo inspired body for this car. Very, very sleek. This is one of the first Porsches that I started liking. And then, you know, that got me into all the GT cars, which is getting very, very expensive. Out here in the executive parking lot, we have this 8 P1, sorry, P1 HDK. Pretty sure this is the same one as what was here last year, but it was green. Maybe they repainted it, I don't know. Very, very cool. Look at the carbon here. Very classy interior. Fender louvers, giant brakes and center lock wheels. F50. Not sure which F50 this is, but I think there are at least half a dozen F50 at Car Week this year. And a Voodoo Blue GT2 RS. With a color match cage in there. Very nice. There's a white F40. That's insane. That's so cool. Look at that titanium exhaust. This car is double coilover suspension in front. Jeez. Made by Ford UK. This car is never in America. Also, homologation special. Street car. Turbochargers right there. Porsche Sport Classic. I haven't seen this in person yet, but pretty cool. Wood trim interior. Series number 000. Heritage spec. I love the gold badges on this one. A Hennessy booth with a two or three Venom F5s. That's a new F5 Spider, which is being officially unveiled today. I love the chrome wheels on this. Gunther Works with their new release today. Very, very cool. I think this is more like track focus variant of the uh, regular Gunther Work product. They always have like the super cool bucket seats. And this is right hand drive. Wow, one of 25 carbon specials. And over here we have this orange track special. It's got the uh, carbon fiber wheels. It's got a different front fender, matching luggage set, and these side intakes, which are really, really aggressive. And those wings. I think there's gold heat shielding in there too. We got the Remox over here. We got the new Bugatti down there. The new Bugatti Mistral, I think that's what they call it. W16 engine, carbon fiber in the middle, painted black on the side. Very nice roadster concept. Bumblebee spec. French flags, black carbon, model name etched into the headlight. Very unique headlights. Very, very big grill in the front. It's a little bigger than usual. The new MC20 convertible or Roadster. This very unique blue turquoise looking color. 
can't tell if this camera playing tricks on me or not. 1967 Ferrari P3 with bare aluminum finish. Very, very cool. Horacio Bagani, founder and chief designer of Bagani Automobili, marked the start of a new automotive era, the hypercar era. Good dining options here at the Quail. Very empty Lexus stand here. A very lonely BMW 507 over here. They're very pretty blue. Check that out for auction. The orange Yesco and the new, not sure what that is, the new something. This is the track version of the Yesco and that's the, uh, I think it's called Yesco Absolute for top speed runs. Here we have the CC850, they call it. It's a new version or a remake of the CCX back then or CC8 that everyone loved. Does it have a, but does it have a manual gearbox though? Let's see. Yes, it does. Yeah. CC850, the custom manual gearbox. And the green pedals. Those Koenigsegg pedals are really nice. That's moving back here. We have the triple taillights and the um, Koenigsegg Specialty triplex suspension. Just look at the stru look at the structure of this car. That's illegal. That's sick. I think this is an Alpina Z8. Wow. Didn't expect to see this here. I'm pretty sure this is a special E30, the Bauer edition or something like that. Is that a Ruby Star Cullinan? Never seen this before. This is sick. I was expecting something that's like more modest than this at the Quail. But this car has tracks and all that. I'm pretty sure this is like for like the ice racing in uh, Europe. We have this off-road tank looking 356 and we have these like California looking 356s. Very neat. Ogera's got a booth here. That dealership from LA that hosts the Sunset GT. The new McLaren race car or concept car or whatever they call it. Very cool. Check out that suspension in the middle. Back end, those brake calipers. The back end kind of looks like uh, looks like something I've seen before. I don't know what this is, but super super cool. Two seater front and rear concept. My fan. That looks 3D printed. Oh, it's this company. Yeah, those are definitely like um, there's a software for these, but I don't remember what it's called. So what the software does for this is that it only adds puts material in places where strength is needed. So you have a lot of hollow spaces over here to save weight. But structurally, these are the only supports that are required. This roof made a speedster as well. Um, the most recent being I participated in the 24 hour of Barcelona. I put a really good lap down during qualifying and I actually had a competitor say that you know that wasn't samantha in the car they probably put her teammate in the car and used her driver id and you know she didn't run that lap so what i did was i won the race and i beat him by 30 minutes nice i forgot to see this one this is the pagani pyra imola it's got different bodywork Got like a little fin here in the middle, fins, uh, roof scoop. I'm not sure what material that is. I think it's painted aluminum. Very cool. Gold wheels. I think this is like a really hardcore version of the uh, BC. They call it the Imola. And that's a regular BC Roadster over there. Full carbon charger. That's what we're known for. Super Bowl ring. Uh, white SV. I'm always skeptical about these in uh, America because 
lot of people like to put kits on, but I think this is a real one. 151 of 350, but they, they actually only made 156 of these. Fire Roadster Spiker C8, very cool. Nice. So these were like half a million back then, a couple years ago when I was looking at them. Now they're 800, 2 million. Probably the best looking and best sounding uh, Lamborghini ever. The Huayra Roadster suspension geometry and the exhaust. So colorful. I've only, I've seen this one on Instagram. Nice, we saw this in the town earlier. GT3 RS with HRE. The Mercedes Evo. I think this is green, I can't tell. Sorry, it's black, it's a grass reflecting. Cosworth engine. 2.5, the 2.6s are the regular ones, but more displacement. The GMA, Gordon Murray Automotive. And this car has V12 engine that revs up to 11,000. It's almost a motorcycle engine, jeez. Center wiper, left hand drive. That car over there, center drive. It's got a more conventional rear end. That calls for a V12 engine. This is a T50, the F1 successor. I'm still not convinced by this giant fan being in the back. I'm not sure about that. It's probably functional, but definitely not the very prettiest looking car. Interior. The Lamborghini booth, pretty underwhelming this year, but there's a Parfumante Urus. Not sure how fast that is. Didn't see any performance figures. STO. A whole lot of F1 cars over here that I forgot to see. I don't know what this is, but I think it won the Quail Parking Lot Award. I think it's a aluminum body with a Porsche logo on it, so probably a Porsche chassis. Check out the engine and those headers. That looks so pretty. And that suspension layout. And the best part is, it's plated and street legal. Parked on the dirt. <laughs> Parked on the dirt. Yeah. Talking about falling off cliffs. We are here. That's a cliff. We are here at the Ferrari house. The best food in this house. It's all here. Ferrari 2007 F1 car and some food. The Daytona SP3. This GT3 RS here at this event. Very, very nice. I saw this car on a magazine or something, but never expected to see it in person. Very, very, very cool. Different color panels, and they're all like pastel looking colors. A very unique take in for us with cork interior, if you look closely. That center console is all cork. The door pillar is also cork. A pillar is also cork. Look at a cork dashboard. Apparently this circle over here is paint. This is not a sticker. 
We're inside the barn. Check that out. That's like a 3D sculpture. It's not 2D. Very cool quarter panel of the 911 Turbo, I think. Wow. Porsche really knows how to host an event here. Very unique uh, 718 Spider over here with uh, covered headlights to mimic this original car. I think this is I think this is a Magnus Walker special. Not too sure. What is this thing? 992 something America. I think I saw this like some PCA special edition or something. Ah, GTS. Ice. The Sport Classic. Basically a uh, turbo with a manual gearbox, literally. Very nice wheels, one of my favorites. Back at it, green dials, custom interior. That's cute. Back with Porsche fashion, there's always an artist drawing on a car. Very, very, very cool. I don't know what this is, but pretty cool.